Hi, this is Mike, a project manager with MintState.com. Today I'll be presenting a video tutorial on the coin collection application. The website's URL is MintState.com and it can be accessed from any desktop, tablet, or mobile device with any browser. Feel free to look around and review articles, tutorials, and applications regarding coin collecting. Some of the applications require you to register a free account. Just fill it out and you're ready to use all the features. The collection application allows you to upload and organize your coin collection online. So now you can conveniently view your collection and add new coin records with images from any device with an internet connection. This application is absolutely free by simply registering. It has no limit on the number of coins you can upload. You can start the collection application from the Applications menu, from the Slideshow, Use Now, and also from the Application Quick Links. Just press Coin Collection. When you start the collection application, you'll be brought to the table view display with your most common collected coin. You can change the number of coins displayed per page, matching your video display, to show the control buttons without having to scroll. Here I've set it for five records per page. On mobile devices, you can swipe left and right to change pages, or you can press the next and previous buttons to see any of the 29 Morgans I've previously uploaded. To change the series to another coin type, just select the denomination and series and then press apply. To keep the performance of the system optimal, you'll work with one coin series at a time on the table and slide views, but you can review the entire collection by using the report feature. The collection report shows all your coin records grouped by denomination, then series, and sorted by date, then mint. Each group header, dollar here, shows you the number of coins plus their total cost and value as you've recorded them. You can collapse and expand the groups as you see here, and at the bottom of the report are the totals for your entire collection. You can also export the collection report to a PDF or Excel spreadsheet by clicking the export button. It may take a few seconds to download, but then you can open the exported file. Here's my example collection as a PDF. And here it is as an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, let's go back to the table view and I'll show you how to add a new coin record. I'm going to add another Morgan dollar by clicking the Add button. You can select any image file for both the obverse and now the reverse. When using a device with a built-in camera, like a mobile phone, you are given the option to take the picture without saving the file. I forgot to check the year in the mint, so let's save the record and take a look. We could just click the zoom button. It was a 1903 with mint mark S, San Francisco. To edit the record, or any other, I could just click the record and then edit. Fill in the fields with the coin's values. You can leave any blank if the information is unknown or just not available. Since the coin was a 1903, it didn't belong on this page, but was sorted in place to one of the next pages. When this happens, the first coin of the page is automatically highlighted. If you make a mistake, you can just remove the coin by clicking Remove, and then confirm with Permanently Remove. The final display type we'll discuss is the slide view. Instead of the smaller thumbnail images like here on the table view, the slide view displays one coin at a time, with the coin much larger in size. The slide view will start with the highlighted coin from the table view. This view was designed specifically for mobile phones. By swiping left and right, mobile users can review their series collection one coin at a time. 
You can also click the next button to step through each coin. To display the reverse of the coin, just click the reverse button. And all the other buttons work just as before. If you've already been using the Coin Identifier app, there's a new feature which allows you to save your zoomed, rotated, and centered images right to your collection. This concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it educational. If you have any suggestions or ideas to improve the site, please let us know. Subscribe, like, and notify. You'll be the first to know when new features and applications are available. Thank you for supporting MinState.com.